were watching Hillbilly Luxury, and I'm a ghost. No, I'm wearing a watch that's got ghosts on it. Let's check it out. All right, let's get into unboxing this spinnaker here. All right, let's see. Ooh, what we got here? We got a little uh, two dots. I think that's supposed to be a spooky box. It's supposed to be a ghost. I have no idea why ghosts are popular with this, but I guess uh, it's their design. This was a limited edition watch, and my buddy happened to uh, acquire one. He'd been wanting one for a long time, and he uh, he found one. He tracked it down, uh, had it shipped from the other side of the world. I don't want to damage the packaging. He's very happy with his watch, so maybe I can get it open. There we go. I'm going to try to keep everything as original because it's a, it's a pretty unique watch. All right, we got the same little dots. We got some felt. And we got one of 2,294 yeah, 2, pieces pre-ordered. All right. Box smells good. Smells like fresh. It's a fluce. It's got the ghost on it. The blue edition. And then got ourselves a, a little card here. Let's take a look at the watch. Okay, okay, yeah. And that, my friends, is a bunch of little tiny ghosts. It's got some good weight to it. Well, I like the way the case turns down like that. It's good, good case shape. Bezel's a little a little bit hard for me to get a hold of here. Yeah, there's no there we go. Well, the bezel's a little difficult to turn. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. Um there's very little traction around that. You know, they could have made that a, a little bit sharper, you know, a little bit more defined. Because I have a hard time getting my fingers on it. Let's uh, give it a little wind here. It's a good wind. Typical. There's no date on this, so... Don't have to worry about doing a date change. And like I said, this was a pre-owned watch. Um, and it's in excellent condition. I mean, it's still got the... It's got stickers and... Yeah, I mean, it looks brand new to me. Check out the back. Oh, we got ourselves a little ghost back here, too. He's always going to be upside down when you're looking at him. Oh, there we go. So apparently, that's loomed as well as all these little ghosts. Let's zoom in on these little ghosts. See all those little ghosts? They're all 3D. Give it a little wipe down here. Look at all those little ghosts. Spinnaker, 50 fathoms. Oh, that's phantoms. 50 phantoms. Oh, no feet. <laughs> I just got the joke. It's 50 phantoms. Bro, 50 phantoms. Are there 50 phantoms on the dial? <laughs> 
Oh, and then there's no feet. Bro, because the little ghosts, they don't have no feet. Man, that is funny. 50 phantoms. Maybe I should sit here and count all the phantoms. How many phantoms are on there? Probably close to 50 phantoms. I wonder who came up with that idea. Somebody's just sitting there and like, bro, bro, make a watch with 50 little ghosts on it. And we're going to call it 50 phantoms. Bro. I get to see a bunch of people sitting around stoned laughing about that. I mean, it just seems like an inside joke. I mean, a watch person, a non-watch person is not going to get it. <laughs> they don't even know what a 50 fathoms is. But I, I get it. I get the joke. It, it took me a minute, but I got it. And I got a good laugh. So, uh, I appreciate a good laugh. Um, the hands look pretty nice. You got some brushing going on on those. Real clean. A little red tipped. Got some faux patina on the hour markers. And I'd say that's a good thing to, you know, d help differentiate them from the, from the ghosts. You know, that way you got, not got too much going on on the dial. But the, all the little ghosts are really cool. And those are some tiny little ghosts. And they're all very well done. Let's see if we can get it even closer. Probably not here. And no. I think I need to back up. And then just, yeah, I guess that's good enough. But yeah, they look well done. I don't see really any uh, loom bleeding over the edges of them and stuff. They, they definitely spent some time looming, putting the loom in all those little little ghosts. And uh, from what I understand, that they're all different colors too. So they're supposed to have many different colors of loom. And I'm pretty excited to check out the loom on this. So we got ourselves a signed crown here. Let's check out the case back here. Man, the little ghost is pretty cool. I like it. So it's not really a numbered because it just says one of. So it's kind of like a one of. It's not like a you know, a specific numbered watch. What we got here? Oh, we got a basic stamped. You know, the basic clasp, which obviously I have to keep it out for me because I've got bigger wrists than him, than my buddy. And I don't, I'm not gonna size it because like I said, it's not my watch and I'm not gonna keep it for very long, just long enough to, to check it out, you know. Uh, I'll appreciate him uh, hooking me up with some cool watches. But yeah, that is really cool. That is really cool. All right, so let's check out some loom. The ghosts definitely glow the most. Let's flip it over and check a look at the back. And oh, you can barely see it. The little ghost is glowing on the back. But yeah, those green ones, man, the green ones glow. Ooh. Look at all those little colorful ghosts. Okay, I'm really impressed with that loom. That That is a cool watch. I really like it. And, I mean, am I going to source one myself? Probably not. But, I really do appreciate being able to see one of these. Um, looks like it came with a strap here. That's cool. Got anything special going on with this strap? Looks like a. Oh, it's got the little. It's got the two little eyes on it, so. It is a special strap. A little bit special. Nothing too amazing, but. It's got the quick release. Spring bars, it looks like. Yeah, this is a cool watch.
I don't care what anybody says. You don't like Spinnaker? That's fine. But this is still a cool idea right here. It's a really cool idea. And like I said, it's a limited edition. You're not gonna you're not gonna find these anymore. So and you'll have to buy one on the secondary market from somebody like like my buddy did. But I'm sure they're still around. I think he got this one for like 500 bucks. So, I mean, is it a little steep? Yeah, but it is very, uh, very limited. So you won't see another one of these on somebody else's wrist. So if you're really into the design and you really like it um, and you want something original, I can completely understand picking this up. Um, but anyways, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like it and uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What's your favorite spinnaker? What do you think about this watch? But y'all have a good one. Thanks for stopping in.